All right, we're just getting all the new information in because there were some changes to some of the impact products that we are looking at with Hurricane Delta. So let's take a look again. The good news is we have seen the winds maintain themselves at 90 miles an hour. So just go through what we know right now. That forward motion is still very quick. West Northwest at 17 pressure remaining about the same at 972. So this is not rapidly intensifying. We'll see what happens as we go through the overnight and it still has all day tomorrow and into Friday to continue continue strengthening and that is expected. The storm size has also gotten larger. Now that is good and bad. A larger storm is going to send a whole lot more water up toward the northern Gulf Coast, but it's good because these larger storms take a lot more time to strengthen than they do when they're smaller. That's what we saw with Delta when it was still in the Caribbean, a much smaller storm in that rapid intensification. Then it moved and quickly weakened over the Yucatan, which was actually kind of a surprise. Still a category one storm, but the Hurricane Center is saying that we will see that intensification up to a three. And really, if you watch the icon here as it moves inland, it goes from a three to a two. So right at the cusp of weakening from a major hurricane down to a category two at landfall, it is still going to be a strong storm when it makes landfall. And again, we're starting to get a lot more certainty. The track is actually jogged maybe a little bit more to the west. The impacts of southeast Louisiana are going to be minimal to what folks in southwest and south central Louisiana will see the upper atmosphere, not exactly the most conducive for rapid intensification. You do have some wind shear across the western Gulf. We'll see how that impacts the storm. As you could also see this upper trough, this trough we've been talking about over the last couple of days, that's going to start to really help to draw the storm north and then also northeast. It's also going to introduce dry air and that dry air is also going to play a role in the storm. Notice the forecast model Friday early morning as the storm is strengthening. Dry air begins wrapping around it. Will it get into the center? Kind of disrupt that circulation? Very possible. Also may kind of cut off a lot of the moisture to where by the time it gets to us, a lot of that heavy moisture is not over southeast Louisiana. It is all confined to southwest and south central Louisiana. Now at the surface that was looking at the upper atmosphere, the water temperatures are conducive for further intensification. You do have a uh, kind of area here where the oceanic heat content, that's where you're looking at kind of the entire column of water and how far down into the surface of the ocean or the Gulf that that warm water exists. And it's running over an area where that is pretty deep. Then you have fairly cool water in the northern Gulf. And the question is, if it moves fast enough, that cooler water may not affect the storm's structure all that much. Maybe we hope more on that dry air to really play a bigger role. This is also a look at the wind field. It is expected to expand, but what's very interesting is if you remember earlier, the wind field was expected to get over Metro New Orleans. Now it may be a little bit more to the west, so certainly some coastal areas, river parishes and parts of the Florida parishes likely to see tropical storm force winds for a time late Friday and into early Saturday. We've also seen some uh, of our storm surge watches change to warnings now, where again we could see uh, storm surge conditions within the next 30 or 24 hours now, actually. And that includes the North Shore along the Mississippi coast and all of our coastline. Three to five feet that has been adjusted down from four to six are in the Lake Bourne area. Still expecting about three to five in Lake Pontchartrain. Four to six from basically Port Fouchon to the mouth of the river, but from Port Fouchon west, seven to 11 feet. So that is where we may see some of our more significant flooding. Lower Lafourche, Terrebonne, as you head out toward Morgan City. Models are in good agreement now, and we're also seeing that what this is I'm trying to show you here is that the heaviest rainfall is going to be right near the center. So as far as any heavy rainfall goes, I just don't think we're going to see a whole lot. One to two, maybe three inches, a few isolated heavier amounts possible, but over Overall, rain of flooding from rain is not going to be the issue. Flooding from coastal inundation will be more of the concern. And again, some of the winds that can create some damaging conditions. We'll start to see some showers moving through late tomorrow, but more so Friday through the day and into early Saturday. We've already had a few little light sprinkles here and there, but otherwise rainfall has not been bad today. A few droplets on our camera. It was definitely a more humid day today with dew points back into the 70s. So expect our showers to start later tomorrow. Winds will be increasing. Windy and rainy through the day on Friday, early Saturday. Good news is it is a fast moving system, so we'll be clearing out as we get into late Saturday, Sunday, Monday, warmer, and then it does look like a cold front will be moving through by early next week. Okay.